Well, hello, everybody. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. And I've been working on my Keto coaching website with my webmaster, plus doing a lot of my own, I guess, DIY sort of thing, setting up the accounts and things like that. So hoping to get wicked smatter about that so I can launch my keto coaching business um, in January and uh, do one-on-one -on -one counseling. So um, my website that is under construction will be called ketocoachingsarah.com. And um, as we put in the details, more will show up. Right now, it's just the domain site, ketocoachingsarah.com. And when you get there, you'll see, yep, it's me and some familiar things. And I think we're working on the logo of being a coffee cup because that's how we roll. Anyway, back to where I was. Where are you with your keto food program? Oh, thank you for my shameless plug um, time. Where are you with your keto food plan? Somebody who will remain nameless, whose first initial is N, um, is, I, th I believe she's a little new to keto, but she's been making herself crazy with carb counting. And in her comments, she put that there's something like 3.6 carbs in a tablespoon or two of fresh squeezed lemon juice, something like that. Well, I have to tell you, that's something that I'm not counting on my chronometer. Um, and I think her eggs came up high too. So she said, you know, she's like exasperated. And she's like, how, how do you ever stay under all of that with what you're eating? At the carb amount for the day, which on those days that I have under 20. And and I told her, and and it's just, she says, I'm really, I'm really overthinking this. So thank you. Ms. N for, um, you know, stating what you stated because it, it kicked into me. Oh, there's a new chance for a new video. Overthinking our keto plan. And then I watched um, Wowie, Kelly, Wowie, or um, Zowie, Wowie. Who, who am I thinking of? Anyway, uh, a very cute young woman who's lost 170 pounds on keto. And um, she keeps it real, real, real simple too. She must have an old soul because she doesn't get into all the analytics of it. And so I too keep it very, very simple. And I know that, um, you know, my issue was not lemon juice or the carb count of the eggs or um, how many carbs in a green leafy salad that is just green leaves, <laughs> you know, that that's not my program. It doesn't mean to say that I'm not doing loosey goosey. It's just that I I count everything. Um, well, no, I don't count everything. There you go. I'm not counting the lemon juice and the lemon juice that I use. I do use a fresh squeezed half of a lemon um, that lasts the whole day in my first one. And then I have a tablespoon of organic lemon juice that says it has zero carbs in it and zero sugars. Um, and that's my first water of the day. Um, so it's got the heavy concentrate of the squeezed lemon and the heavy concentrate of the um, lemon organic juice in it. And then throughout the day, um, when I have my half of lime squeezed onto my Dr. Price and potassium bulk supplements at noon, I add, then I add that lime to my um, lemon water and I'll have two glasses of that um, for the rest of the day. And then any Poland Springs or Mountain Valley spring water that I have. Um, this is the Mountain Valley. And um, I bought all the sparkling ones they had at my store so I hope they reload. Um, the lady there was thinking maybe Coke distributes it for them. She wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm um, learning so many different new programs all at the same time that it's like incredible. 
for this old brain, but I guess maybe um, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it is boosting my brain activity. And so, you know, sometimes when they say like with, with working out and exercise, energy begets energy. And I truly believe that because I have had down times where I've had really nothing to do. And that was before I came up with my keto coaching idea and having to buy a new computer and learn things. And my um, video <laughs> cam broke. And then the keto cottage came along, first the eviction, then the keto cottage renovation, and then finding a new tenant. It's been a, um, oh yeah, let's throw in Christmas too, why not? So it's been a wild and woolly November, December. Um, and then my kids all come Christmas Eve and then I work that night. And then Christmas day, it's just Greg and me and a prime rib on the big green egg. And then I work again that night, which will be, by the time we get to Christmas day, I'm starting to exhale, but then I'll have to get busy with um, making a lease for the new tenant. But anyway, I digress. Stop overthinking your food plan. And yes, it is important to count everything, but to make yourself crazy over lemon juice or other things, the chronometer is always higher. It is higher um, as far as the tracking device goes than any other program I've used, perhaps because it's really, um, it's not dressing it up to make it look like there's more, um, you know, they, they aren't, it, it's not user like, uh, people like you and me putting in stuff with false data because I found that on Lose It all the time. And um, so you could probably get away with more. You, do you know what I'm saying? So anyway, don't overthink your program with, um, some people do it with the um, test strips and, um, you know, blood blood, um, blood machines and, and all of that kind of stuff. I use <clears throat> my chronometer. I use my, <clears throat> excuse me, I use my kitchen scale. I use all of my little measuring instruments, but I usually measure in grams and, um, and that seems to work for me um, because you can get less, less loosey goosey with grams than you can with ounces because you could have 1.99 ounces and it still shows as one. And if you do that long enough and, and enough with things like butter and cream and meat and everything else, then you're really getting more than it shows. So um, I use the grams because it keeps me a little bit more accountable in my chronometer. So, but don't overthink it. Don't make yourself crazy. This is how, this is how simple, oh, it's Allie McWowie. That's who it is. Um, this is how I keep it simple on my keto program. No grains, no sugars of any kind, no artificial sweeteners, no diet soda, no fruits. Okay. And then whatever I have during the day, like sometimes like cream cheese or a sausage or a pepperoni or um, cream or eggs, sometimes there's carbs in keto friendly items, you know, and then the carbs in the veggies. So I put everything in and let it fall where it does, except, you know, I, I'm not putting things like lemon juice or a squeezed lemon in it. But I do put all my cream, all my butter, all my coconut oil, my brain octane, um, my nut milks like almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk, those things, um, how much I have in my, I, cause I add that to my bulletproof coffee to just make the volume a little bit more. So it lasts me longer. Um, because you know, I wake up between two and three and I have my first one at three. And then I kind of work off that. And that this is the end of the Bulletproof coffee from 3 a.m. And then I will have, whoops. And then I will have um, a second one, like between nine and 10, depending on how the day goes. Um, my days certainly have a lot more on the to-do list. And so I want those fats. And then my one meal a day between like two and four. And I'm loving the one meal a day. It seems to work for me. Um, I used to have two meals a day. Never, ever, ever thought I could go to one meal a day and I've kind of transitioned. I'm not a superhero though. I do it with Bulletproof coffee, so they do have fats in them. And um, 
Each bullet, each bulletproof coffee is 250 calories. So I have 500 calories in my chronometer before I have my one meal of the day. So my one meal of the day could be anywhere from um, 700 to eight, 700 to 900 calories um, with the salad and what's on the plate with the protein and sometimes some little extra veggies. Tonight, for example, I am having a homemade quiche and it's got an Italian organic, sweet Italian organic sausage by Di Luigi. It has asparagus, it has cauliflower crumbles, it has two ounces of Munster cheese to bubble on top. And then I'm having my big leafy green salad with two tablespoons of oil, one of them being Evu, the other one of them being macadamia nut. It was funny, I couldn't finish my salad last night and Greg had a couple of bites of it. And he goes, wow, this is, I'm tasting almonds in this. This is really good. And I said, no, it's the macadamia nut oil. And he goes, wow, that's really good. So it was just kind of funny. And I found that a lot of changes that I might have done in Greg's diet as his um, food producer <laughs> um, is that, you know, I can add something into it and, and pretty soon he's like, yeah, he likes that. And that's, you know, can you always have it like that? Like cooking things in coconut oil and, and um, all that kind of stuff. So um, we learn as we go, we adopt new things into our food program. But don't overthink it. Don't stress yourself out. It's hard enough just seeing the Christmas goodies being pushed on you, whether you're in a store or like at BJ's, you know, one of the box stores where they've got people cooking on every aisle. And, you know, you see the old men that get their, you know, their lunchtime meal by just going down every aisle while their wives are, you know, handling the coupons and looking at the list and checking it twice. It's kind of funny. I love human beings. We have such funny behavior. And so anyway, just be careful if you're not if you're not snacking or eating in between or nighttime eating and the no grains, the no sugars of any kind, no artificial sweeteners, no diet sodas and no fruit. You are a winner in my book. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And also if you're tracking and weighing and measuring. Um, not everybody does that. If somebody is not having those five, five items, and they assume that they're in ketosis and they're having enough fat, they're not afraid of fat, then they're, they've got their own keto and it's working for them, okay? So um, this is a don't overthink it, especially this time of year, you've got too many things that you do have to overthink and worry and stress about because there's a deadline, that date on the calendar that you have to adhere to, mine is Christmas Eve. So anyway, this has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto here and on Facebook and soon to be launched ketocoachingsarah.com and um, I will be offering services for a fee. So looking forward to that for that one-on-one -on -one special time that maybe you might need and maybe other people would need too. So I'm going to sign off now. Thank you so much for watching and indulging me with my website information. I will see you the next time here. Bye-bye for now.